What's up guys, it's me Tiger02 and I'm here playing some more Dagon Rumpa with you guys. So we're gonna back out of the pause menu and hopefully I didn't mess anything up. So let's see. <coughs> Is there anything else in here that I could look at? Okay, did it register, apparently it's 785 for Brenna Ice, Falcon is on as well. Uh we figured she was a new student from Cuba and just like us. Okay. In which case, we're not sure we're working together on the same side. And then why kill her when we're on teammates? Okay. Is there anything else? Um, I can talk to you too. Let's look at all this. Black and are scattered all over the floor, so I'm kind of tragic about it. Uh, no, I love that one. Uh, oh, look at the lot of mess stars. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So this is a play cave, huh? Okay. Is there anything else in here that other than Total Gummy? That's a really nice bookshelf. I could like books. Oh, okay. Well, let's talk to Total Gummy. Hey, Total Gummy? Oh, I don't have time to know with you right now. If you want a, co a conversation, go find someone else. Learn it to the point. Looks like he won't be in throwing me at, be able to throw anything more at my bones anytime soon, so. Nothing in this room. Whoa. Oh my god, it's clash trial time. I was not expecting to do a clash trial today. Let's see what's gonna happen. May I have your attention, please? You guys are still hard at work and making good progress. Well, for all your for all you hard workers out there, I got a hint for y'all. Ain't I nice? Anyone who wants their hand should come to the gymnasium right away. What? She just suddenly has a hint for us? I'm really suspicious. This is probably some kind of trick. I know it is, but... Hmm. <coughs> you said the gym, huh? So it looks like Monokuma has a hint for us. What could it be? Oh, Hagikure. Hey, Hagakure. <laughs> Eggs! What's wrong? Why are you so startled? What? Uh, uh, it's nothing. Are you here because of the announcement Monokuma just made? Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I've already been on... Uh, I've already been. I'm on my way out, dude. Oh, you already got Monokuma's hint? What was it? Sorry, dude. I uh, I'm out of here. Hold on a sec. Hag Hagakuri. Uh, I could not pronounce his name today for some reason. Pay no heed to my cries. Hagakuri dashed off, like he was running away from something. Hagakuri? Is it just me, or was he trying to get away from me? And I wanted to ask him about the notebook in the locker room, too. Maybe. Maybe he really is hiding something. Huh. Let's go inside the gymnasium. Something tells me Monokuma is gonna say, Oh, the hints are all gone. There's no hint for you here. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, okay. Is that a gun? No. It's Monokuma sama! Why isn't the Monokuma brushed off? Come on, come on! I have your final hint. The envelope at your feet. Is that where you'll find it? Envelope. The envelope by my feet. Okay. Uh, okay. Hmm. What envelope? Does it mean this? Boop, boop, boop. Just so you know, I won't be fl I won't be fielding any questions regarding the contents of that envelope. What? What? Why? Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I reached down and picked it up, picked up the envelope at my feet, slightly but off by my, uh, by Amonokuma's words. I looked inside, and there I found a single photograph. Uh, wait, what? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
Where am I? I'm the one that took the picture, so where am I? Probably. In, in it were the faces I knew all too well. Except for one. The faces that everyone I came to the school with. But wait. The girl standing behind my Yuzona. She's the one I don't really... Wait, no. I do recognize her. Of course. From the file Toogami showed me in the headmaster's office. Huh. Mikiro Kisaba. So she's... Why? How? Why is Mikiro Kisaba there? No, never mind that. The very fact that everyone is in the same picture doesn't make any sense. And what's with the uniform they're wearing? I've never seen it before. Yeah, that is true. Actually, to be more specific, everyone isn't in the picture. I'm not. I'm the only one not there. All 15 of them, excluding me, are in the picture. But it's no big surprise that I'm not in the photo. I'm sure I don't have memory about taking it. And except for Marizona, who I went to middle school with, the first time I met anyone else was was when I came to Kibo Yagamini Academy. So of course I'm not in this picture. What doesn't make any sense? What doesn't make sense is that everyone else is. I had always thought that we all met here for the first time here. But the fact that this picture exists means that I was wrong. Then they all lied? And so, everyone other than me. You can't even play 20 questions with yourself all day, pal. Just standing there like that puts a serious dampener on things. So go on, get lost. But, as I said, I won't be taking any questions. What kind of mystery game mascot would you would I be if I told you the answer? I'm not that having grade. Well, I'm not getting anything else out of him. God damn it! The group photo. So, in the end, all I got was a boatload of confusion. Taking so up the boat behind me. I slugged out of the gym. Maybe a kitty kitties here to help me? No. <sighs> Final hit my ass. I understand less now than I did before. Is that what Monokuma was going for? Did he fake that picture just to mess with my head? But it looks also realistic. It's hard to believe it could be fake. Which means, like I thought, Everyone other than me. Hmm. I'll ask them. That should clear everything up. No. It will. So, looks like I gotta go talk to people. No class trial. Am I gonna have a class trial seriously this late? I don't know. Is there anybody around here, though? Uh, it looks like nobody's here. Looks like Asahina is in the cafeteria. Big surprise. Big surprise, Asahina, that you'll be in the cafeteria. At least you're on the first floor. But the frame rate's not so fucking bad. Uh, this way. I don't know why I didn't flash travel. I think flash traveling would have been a lot easier. Cafeteria. Oh my god. Alright. Hello, Asahina. Let me talk to you, please. Here you are, Asahina. I've got a question for you. Uh, I'm in a hurry. Uh, I'm in a hurry. Huh? Or I can even think about stopping here, Asahina. That bolted from the cafeteria on supersonic speed. Asahina! Why? Why are you running from me? Is everyone gonna run from me? Hagakude ran from me. She ran from me. That's not what I want. I want my mop. Um, there's nothing here for me. 
Nothing, nothing for me. Uh, fuck. So, I'll go there. Got my frame rate. Ah, I don't need it. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. He's in the library? I think that's what I saw. He was in the library. Uh, he's in the archive. Oh, it's in the library, in the archives. He's up to something again. I just don't know what. Okay. So we're going to the archive room. Hello, Buyakwa. Togami. Hey, Togami. Uh, if you got a second, I'd like to ask you a couple questions. Togami? I have nothing to say to you. <laughs> Don't get all buddy buddy with me. Togami, wait! Of course, Togami didn't actually wait. He just walked off. Why? Why is he suddenly avoiding me? So, everyone's avoiding me. Hooray! Uh, who's next? So there's no one else in this room. Third floor. Nobody on the third floor. Nobody on the fourth floor. Uh, Hagakure and Fukawa. Where's Kitty Giddy though? Oh well. I think Kitty Giddy would be the, probably the last person to find. On to this place. I think this is the Bionic Garden? Yeah. And then I think Fukawa's still in the dojo. Maybe Hagakure. Hey, Hagakure. Next. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why do you keep freaking out every time I talk to you? Um, ah, sorry, dude. I gotta. I got somewhere to be. Hagakure ran off like he was trying to get away from me. What the heck, Hagakure? Still haven't been able to ask him about the notebook I found on that locker either. He keeps running away. Like he's trying to avoid me. Why? And then I think last is Fukawa. And she's in the dojo, I believe. Why is everyone avoiding me? What did I do? Where did Monokuma show them? She's not in the dojo. Where the hell is she at then? Is she in the bio lab? Yep, she would be. Ooh, uh, look at me go so fast. Uh, I'm say, okay. Fresh meat. <coughs> this cough won't go away, I swear. When I returned to the bio lab, the very first image that had created my eyes was her collapse on the floor. What the? Fukawa! Wait, why is this one open? Fuck Fukawa. One of the containers has been open, but Fukawa. Who cares? The container's been open. Fukawa! Are you okay? She's she's not dead, is she? Oh god. <laughs> I forgot how I was doing genocide shallies. Whoa! It's freaking cold. It's freaking cold in the Arctic in here. I can catch cold. <laughs> You're right. You could sleep in a place like this. <laughs> Sleeping? Oh, oh, silly me! I must have passed out again. <laughs> then you came and found me. Saw me sleeping. Oh, Johnny would be. <laughs> Your Johnny was like. <laughs> boy, 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 boy. No, it was not. <laughs> then why <laughs> did you claim up? Did you climb up? Did you cheat her like a schoolgirl? Anyways, why'd you faint? <laughs> Haven't the faintest? I woke up and I was asleep. Then I'm as gloomy as I'd done something. That's right. When you change personalities, you don't keep the other one's memories. Bingo! We might share the same knowledge, but we don't share the same memory. <laughs> but quit talking like that. Like the con or something, it's actually a pretty huge bro. I mean, come on. I can remember th things she can't. It's like two for the price of one. 
It's like two for the price of one if it's better. Okay, genocide your secrets. Anyways, anyways, where's my boo? Tell me or you're dead. Uh, I think Togami is performing his own investigation somewhere. By himself? I imagine so. I knew it! Not that I had any doubts. My pro I'm a pro when it comes to my white knight. Anyways, gotta go. My wife must be oh so lonely without me. <laughs> Ouch. Her voice. Hokawa ran off in her incompar incomparably dis disturbing laugh, fading into nothing as she disappeared down into the hall. Crap, that's right. I forgot to ask her about that picture. I thought I probably could have gotten it gotten anything out of the genocider. Plus, I have more important things to do to worry about right now. Like, what caused Fukawa to pass out? It could have just been some coincidence or something that she had... Uh, something that had triggered it. So anyway, so... Now that she's got awake, we're gonna check this body. One of the refrigerator doors is open. When I was here last, I'm posi positive they were all closed. That's what I did. That's right, I did it. That's, that's why Fukawa fainted. Kitty kitty! Nice. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Are you feeling better? Yeah. I apologize for warning you. No apologies necessary. Yeah. That aside, Nayagi, this room. Yes? Yeah. Looks kind of like a morgue. We, yeah, it is. Yeah. So I was right. The couple fell unconscious because she looked inside of that refrigerator. You knew she had fainted? Yeah. Just now I crossed paths with genocide running through the halls. I thought she might have sneezed, but now that I've seen this room, I understand what really happened. In the attempt to investigate this room, she opened the refrigerator and seen the corpse inside. She lost consciousness. Always causing trouble, isn't she? In any event, you can't just leave the fridge open like this, so we should close it back up. Uh, yeah. Give me a hand, Maggie. Kitty Kitty approached the refrigerator, placed her hand on the door, and stopped. What is it? It seems a little too soon to put the body back to rest. What? Why? Because the corpse here belongs to Mikiro Ukisaba. Mikiro Ukisaba? Seriously, Mikiro Ukisaba <coughs> Isaba's body is inside bat storage unit. I imagine it was brought here during the class trial, as it happens with every other time. So the puppet master did it. Since he did it, since he didn't think to be revisiting Mikiro Kisaba's trial? So Most likely, yes. In any case, I can finally examine her body. That's right. She didn't have time to look at the body before the last last trial. Nice. I'll begin with my examination right away. And this time, I'll find the evidence we need to grab the puppet master by the trial. So, what should I do? Yeah. Right over there. I'll tell you what I've done once I've done. Over there, huh? Alright. Where is over there? Are you done yet? I don't know. Oh, I'll wait here. I thought I recognized these window sheets somewhere. They're the same ones from the one in the shed. <coughs> was that one? It was labeled bi biology lab, wasn't it? Which means the sheet used to obscure the time of death. Uh, the sheet was used to obscure that time of death in the last first trial. Came from this room. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, yeah. I thought I already had that one though. Uh, I already looked at the instruction manual. More importantly, wait. Look at the instruction manual. More importantly, what? Uh, I already looked at the instruction manual. More importantly. Hmm. No, no, we're near brave enough to look inside. Okay. Anyways, did you find anything yet? I should see what Kitty Kitty has to say about the that group photo. She was, after all, in that picture. Hey, Kitty Kitty. If it won't get in your get in the way of your investigation, there's something I like to ask. Yes. About the announcement Monokuma made earlier. <sighs> if we're talking about the hint, about that hint nonsense, I didn't go. You didn't? Why not? That's a hint from him is like, at a time like this, 
could be anything from an attempt to throw us off track. Furthermore, I want to solve this mystery myself without any help from him. Yeah, I understand that. I kind of wanted to hear her, what she thought, but I guess it's not happening. From the way she's acting, I can't imagine she's trying to trick me. So that means the picture really is another one of the Puppet Master's traps. Set to mislead me. Yeah, that's gotta be it. If not, it just doesn't make any sense. Alright, so is there anything else in here? I think that's it actually. The line on the blue. But those ones are on the side are off. Oh, yeah. The lights must indicate that which contains containers are in use. The lights indicate which containers are in use. Take that into account. The one with Mikiro Kitaba bodies in is a total of nine units. A total of nine units are, have their lights turned on. Nine. Nine lights? Alright, so we got the storage unit lights on. Are you done? Alright, I'm done. Nayagi. Already? That was fast. Taking one of the taking one time is easy. Completing a job quickly requires skills. I'll make my explanation quick too. So what did you come up with? I performed a thorough investigation of the corpse wounds and trace blood traces of blood on the body. It's highly likely that the wounds to both the abdomen and the back of the head were incurred, incurred post mortem. What? Because of the burns, it's hard to be positive, but I'm almost certain. So basically, neither of them could have been the cause of death. Then, there's a true. Then her true cause of death? As a result of the severe. Uh, severe damage caused by the explosion, the identity of the disease is unknown. The explanation. The explosion occurred post mortem. The deceased stopped suffered a single knife wound to the abdomen, extending it to the back of her body. Extending it to the back of the body. There are signs of trauma visible in the back of the head of the deceased, of the deceased head, which appear to be, have been the cause. By a strike of a, a cylinder, a cylinder well, object approximately the same diameter of an iron pipe. Additionally, there are numerous wounds visible in multiple locations of the deceased body. However, these wounds were not incurred in the last few days. But it's sometime, some earlier time. I don't know least the number of wounds all over her body, but I thought those were supposed to be old. So question. Nowhere does it say they're old wounds. What? The Monokuma file says simply says these wounds were not incurred in the last few days. There's a difference. There's a big difference, specifically in the way they were each implied. Yeah. You see, you seem to have conflated the phrase occurred at some time earlier with old wounds but by doing that you trapped yourself in the corner the phrase old wounds implies they the old the phrase old wound implies they have nothing to do with the murder doesn't it and you're saying they do but we were given that monokuma file right after she was murdered weren't we so the wounds incurred incurred more than a few days prior to then couldn't possibly be the cause of death. Yeah. And what if the murder itself didn't occur in the last few days? Huh? That's one possibility, is it not? One possibility? So. Detectives do not have superpowers. We can't just look at a crime and divine the uh, uh, and divine the truth is right then and there. On the contrary, the best detective considered numerous possibilities in the beginning. Not ensnaring their thought process with common sense, prejudice, or preconceived notions. Then there is... And they then explore each and every one of those possibilities over the course of their investigation. I doubt there's much point in me teaching you how to... How a detective thinks. But it would be wise to keep that in mind as long as you intend to continue solving mysteries. Kid again, he's done some money and I'm just my ammunition. Yeah. While we're at it. Is there anything you'd like to ask me about the body that you should know? Oh yeah, there was one thing. I was looking at Mikiro Kisaba's profile earlier, and it had her height, weight, and such listed. Height, weight 169 centimeters, weight 44 kilograms, bust 80 centimeters, waist 65 centimeters, hip 82 centimeters. Am I right? You remembered all that? Those measurements match this body precisely. 
so she really is. Yeah. On top of that, there's also a female tattoo, so that so that there's no room no room for a doubt. So this body is Mikiro Ikisaba's. Alright, it's been reloaded. So is that all you wanted to know? Y yeah, I think so. Yeah. In that case, we're done with the corpse. Let's get out of let's get out of here. It's freezing. Uh hold on. Shouldn't we put her body back? I kinda feel bad is just leaving out here like this. Not so. You feel bad? Have you forgotten? She's one of our enemies. She's a member of the super duper high school despair. But she was murdered, so that makes her a victim too. No. Have you heard of that saying, you reap what you sow? I mean, yeah, you're right, but still. <sighs> you really are soft. Unbelievably so. <laughs> However, it wouldn't be the fact that she lent me her hand and didn't abandon me. It mean that she is, I mean that she too was, in her own words, soft. Yeah. And with that, we completed our investigation of this room. From here on, we go our separate ways again. But just one second. I still have one more thing. Something I have to ask her about. The notebook I found in that locker room. I had to find out. So why can't they just out have done it already? Alright. Hey, kitty kitty. There's one last thing I really like to ask you about. None. And what would that be? Are you absolutely sure that you haven't made contact with your dad since coming? Or are you absolutely sure you haven't made any contact with your dad since coming here? Huh? What? Sorry, no. What do you mean by that? You know, that there's a locker room on the dorms on the second floor, right? Yeah. Yes, I do. Though those lockers can only be open with the owner's lecture ID, no? I use the emergency lecture ID. Yeah, ah, the one in the headmaster's room. And hey, what did you find in those lockers? A notebook. And as far as I could tell, it could belong. It could only belong to you. And what makes you think that? As I just said, only the one, only the lockers can owners can get inside now. And there's no way the lockers were assigned to us. After all, they were only just recently gained access to that area, so it could have just possibly anything in that. Anyways, why would I need a notebook in that locker? Well, yes, you're right about that. The author of the notebook refers. Blah, blah, blah. Refers to the headmaster as my father. <gasps> this just maybe. Those videos were the real thing too. Videos? Maggie, it seems everything's come together. I'll be, I'll be this in the worst way possible. What do you mean? I'm going to the locker room now. I want to confirm what you told me with my own eyes. Then you should take the headmaster's electric ID that way. That way, not necessary. I'm right, my lecture ID should open that locker. After all, it's undoubt undoubtedly my locker. Your locker? If you watch this, you'll understand. What's this, a DVD? 78th class. Emergency interviews. I found this in the hidden room after you left. I don't have time to explain my theory in detail, so watch it instead. When you do, I'm sure you realize what I mean what it means for my notebook to have ended up in that locker without my knowledge I'm not really sure I get it but it sounds like there's something important information on this DVD alright so let's go to the DVD room and watch it one more thing Ayagi would you mind if I rambled at you for a bit what about to start to start from the end I was unable to sort things out rather I found myself growing less and less certain of things including my own feelings She's talking about her dad, isn't she? There's one question I've never been able to answer. Not now, and not ever. All because of the puppet master. But there's one thing that has made itself clear to me. I can't let the past puppet master go unpunished. I want nothing more than to defeat him. And I now have my own reasons to do so. An intensified flame has run in Kitty Kitty's eyes. Her de determination to triumph over the puppet master. <laughs> it's odd that I would come to feel this way after learning about my man about that man's death he had been alive and well living happily life i'm sure i wouldn't have given it a second thought not so. so why then is it so hard for me to accept that it's not how it turned out it's absurd not to understand i don't understand it one bit her lips curved into a smile she let out a small sorrowful laugh <sighs> <laughs> 
Well, that's enough chit chat for now. There's still things left. There's still things left to be done. Yeah, there are. No. Never forget that there is only one truth. Whether it be just or whether it be unjust. Whether it be righteous or whether it be wicked. What do you mean? Even if there even if the eh, even if the truth define its worth in despair, don't lose hope. Of course it won't. After all, one of my redeeming qualities is my optimism, right? <laughs> That's right. Sorry to bore you with my silly rambling. Yeah. Well, I'm going to head out now. Until we meet again at the final class trial. With the parting words, Kitty Kitty left the bio lab. Guess I should get going too. I should be able to watch the DVD, we DVD Kitty Kitty gave me in the AV room. Maybe I really truly would rather move ah, I didn't read it. But no matter what happens, I won't give in. No matter how terrible the truth might be. There's not a chance in hell I'm letting it defeat me. Alright guys, so some interesting things occurred. So yeah. So I'm gonna end this episode here. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Dangan Run Pun as much as I did, make sure you guys do a like, thumbs up, favorite down below. Of course, click up there to subscribe so you guys can get updates on Dangan Run Pond and all the other series that I have out. Alright, so I hope to see you guys later. And I hope you have a good day. See you guys later. Bye.